Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to create an audio reactive animation using Stable Diffusion's Deforum model. Before getting into all the details, let me just sh show you a brief glimpse of the output. So this is one of the recent models, uh, one of the recent animations I've generated, right? As you can see, it's really, really interesting it looks really really cool and i personally like it a lot so how do you how will we do this it's pretty simple actually you next just need to choose your favorite song and then how to pass it through uh i personally prefer this website called Mo moises i'm probably butchering the name but uh I'll be sharing you all the links in the description below. You can check it out. So, uh, just have to upload your video or audio uh, into the website. You get uh, it will be separated into four tracks usually, right? You get four tracks. You can export them. So, and you have to apply a few formulas. It's not too complex, right? Uh, yeah. I'll be also sharing you the documents. So uh, you, you'll be using the Moises website to uh, export all the uh, different uh, tracks and you will use the audio keyframe generated uh, for creating um, the values which you'll be using in the deforum model, right? So in here, I personally prefer, so we use the formulas for two things. One is a translation of the Z value and also the other one is the strength scheduler, right? So in this, I personally prefer to use the drums for the translation of the Z value, whereas uh, the base for the strength scheduler, but it, it depends on what kind of output you are trying to create. Uh, I personally prefer using those. Uh, and I would also recommend you to use the same, but there might be situations where uh, in some songs there, there is no bass. So in that scenario, you can either use the vocals or you can use uh, the uh, other instruments, right? So you can just export it uh, as drums or bass or other or only vocals. So you just have to export it. Uh, let me just show you. Uh, you just have to export the drums. And the bass right just give it a moment and then you just have to choose the file select the formula uh, choose the fps and you get the outputs right so let's say sh shiva drums and shiva minor right so you would take the uh, drums value and I'll be also sharing you the formulas for the formula for the translation of Z is 1 plus x power of 4. And the, for the for the strength scheduler is uh, 0.9 minus x squared. Right. So you get a bunch of values. You just have to copy the string. Have to take uh, it to stable diffusion before a model. Right. You just have to go to the keyframes part. Uh, and paste it in the translation Z part. Similarly, you have to do the same thing, but you have to, you should, remi uh, should remember that you have to change the formula. So it's 0 0.90 minus X squared, right? Uh, and choose, uh, choose the base value and just copy the string and paste it in the uh, strength scheduler right then uh, there are a few more things you have to do uh, you have to keep in mind to get a better results you have to convert the animation mode into 3d i'll be sharing you my settings.txt file as well right uh, so that you can just refer it and uh, get over with it right and i just have to see like to get an accurate uh, estimate you just have to see how many max frames do we have so we can see that's like 3600 right 3600 i personally prefer using the wrap border you can you can either assign the zoom or not like you have just you just have to mess around with the 
yeah, settings and figure out what works best for you. Uh, I, I I try to keep the noise scheduler to zero, the contrast scheduler one, CFG scale increase it to at least 25 or so, and uh, my dash weight is okay. Padding mode, uh, padding mode convert it into uh, reflections. Sampling mode, keep it uh, nearest, right? And uh, the video output, just give me a moment. So uh, the video output, may the, uh, put the output format into the MP4. So I personally prefer using 12 FPS uh, because uh, like if you keep it 30 frames per second, you get, you might, you have to generate at least like 12,000 or 13,000 images for a uh, four minute video. Whereas if you give it to a, uh, it, it goes with 3,600 or 4,000 frames. So it depends on your perspective on like what kind of vi uh, video or uh, output you are going to generate. Right. So it's pretty much this. And now you have to uh, type your prompts. So, uh, and like I prefer personally using custom models. And one of my recent favorite one was uh, Inkpunk Diffusion, right? So it is giving some really high end and amazing results. Uh, I suggest you use uh, Inkpunk or uh, anything. Uh, there's another model called anything. Uh, there is uh, one more called Dreamlike Diffusion. I'll be sharing all of those links uh, down below in the description as well. No, just check them out, see what works for you and uh, make sure you uh, put the keywords in the, if you're using a custom model, put the keywords in the prompt uh, prompt menu and let me know if you have any more uh, queries, right? Um, so I'll be signing off. Uh, let me know if you have any queries, uh, put, them, uh, put them down in the comments below. And this is my first video. I'm pretty nervous. So let's see how this goes.